My main account has just been banned with no recourse. Real world trading my entire bank to fortify my Funko Pop collection was definitely a risky maneuver. Now that I have lost everything, both my main and my alt, how would I go about building a new main again from scratch? No GP to claim from a different account, only my own knowledge to get me back to where I was. What would be the optimal route if I were to start over? This video will quickly be outdated by any content coming out. I'm looking at you, Raid 3, but my general strategy would still be the same. This is just a general think piece for if I started over from scratch. My goals for the main I would be building would not change. I want my max cape back, I value pets, and I want a decent amount of GP to be able to PVM with and obtain said pets. My first main goal would be acquire a quest cape. There's too many useful unlocks to leave quests on the table. The optimal quest guide plugin is something I would use and abuse, giving a solid order for quest completion as well as diaries. Before I start doing most quests, I would need some GP to buy useful items. And the easiest way to do that on a fresh account is herb runs. Rushing Fairy Tale 1 for Magic Secateurs, and beginning to farm Ranars or Toad Flax would be the easiest way to get some starting cash or basic gear. I've made fun of herb runs in the past, but on a fresh account, they are truly hard to beat. Rushing Fire Cape, Graceful, Dragon Defender, and other useful untradeables would be a top priority. Slowly working my skills up to complete all quests. With a quest cape in hand, and Song of the Elves completed, this unlocks the only PVM with no gear requirement, Gauntlet. I'm capable of 7.5 completions an hour, making Corrupted Gauntlet a cool 6.5 mil GP an hour of pure profit. This would be by far my best moneymaker until I obtained gear for Nex. That many completions an hour would not be possible until I maxed Magic and Ranged, along with unlocking Augury and Rigor. So all my money made would be poured into those skills and prayers until completed. My goal at this point would be make enough money to buy gear to AFK melee as well, getting all combat stats maxed. Max melee besides Torva with Rapier would cost me roughly 200 mil. Total, I would be at Gauntlet for around 35 hours on average. As soon as I had the gear necessary, I would AFK at Nightmare Zone until I had maxed attack and strength. And with that completed, I could move on to the best moneymaker in the game, Nex. Treading in that Bandos for Carols and an ACB, with maxed combat, I would have a very solid setup to grind Nex to my heart's content. Nex is close to 15 mil GP an hour with a solid team, even with the slightly lower value of drops these days. I would slowly improve my Nex setup with GP earned over time, as well as go grab an Inferno Cape at any point. I'm definitely capable of doing Inferno with ACB. Holding off until I had full Crystal and Bofa bot would make it completely AFK. Because my only goal would not just be Max Cape, but also Pets and PVM, I would stick with Nex until I had acquired all the gear I could possibly want for higher level raids. Scythe and Tebow and Near Max gear for all styles is roughly 3 bill, which is really all that's necessary to do high level raids at Near Max efficiency. Making 3 bill from a 200 mil bank at Nex would take me just under 200 hours, which is about 3 weeks of only Nex. People complain that Nex is boring, but 200 hours of Nex is far more stimulating than 1000 hours of Vorkath. And meleeing Nex is surprisingly fun with clanmates. With my newly acquired giant cash stack, I can now work towards that max cape. I would buy all the viable 99s, construction, herb lore, crafting, fletching, smithing, farming, and prayer, which I probably would have finished off earlier in the next grind, and use the most efficient opportunity cost methods, like mahogany tables. Ideally, I would still have my alt. If it also got purged in the Funko popping, I would start working on it during very AFK grinds, things like Karambuan or Redwoods. Agility through Sepulchre and Runecrafting through either Mud Runes or Blood Runes after Guardians of the Rift both would supply me with tons of GP if I needed a boost at any point, as well as having a high pet chance for both methods. Agility is a very useful 99 and easily my favorite skill, so I would likely grind that first. Mud Runes are incredibly fast XP and GP with the Ring of the Elements, so I would likely do a mix of that with AFKing Bloods. Of course, I would grind out the outfit at Goder before moving on to either of those. For mining, I'd grab Prospectors at Motherlode Mine ASAP, 
because it is unfortunately needed for Falador Diary, and immediately move on to Volcanic Mine whenever able, all the way to 99. I would AFK stars until getting the Celestial Signet as well for increased XP. Volcanic Mine would likely be my go-to low-intensity method for whenever I needed to do things on the side. It also has the benefit of being the second best pet chance in the game, making it great for grinding rock column, which I desire. For Hunter, I would do a mix of birdhouses and driftnet fishing up to level 80. Driftnet fishing while being amazing XP, unfortunately does not have pet chance. At 80, I would immediately move on to Irby, which because I would have bought Herblore anyways, would generate the maximum profit. If I happen to get spooned Irby like I did on my original main, I would move over to Black Chins to attempt to get that pet before 99. For thieving, I would do a mix of Arty Knights and stealing artifacts. Likely, the majority would just be Arty Knights. I'd want to get this one done before mining, as the Desert Amulet requires 91 thieving, and that thing is very handy for Volcanic Mine. As well as using my very solid gear to grind for KQ Head, the pet is so easily earned through ulting Fremmy stalls that I really wouldn't worry about pet chance for the grind to 99. For woodcutting, I'd do two tick teaks until I got the level for Suliaseps, and do those up until 90 for Redwoods. Making sure I grab Lumberjack's outfit as soon as I had Mori Legs 3. The fossil XP from Suliaseps would likely all get spent on mining. Fishing is one of the slower skills I would have to do. I love to AFK fishing, so I would grab the fish barrel from Temporos, and then AFK Karambon until I got the pet. Karambon have incredibly good pet chance and are about 4 minutes of AFK, up there with Redwoods in terms of AFK methods in the game. If I got spooned that pet, I would likely switch over to Dark Crabs at 85 fishing, all the way up until 99. For Slayer, I would point boost to get all my unlocks out of the way, Slayer Rings, a perfect block list, Slayer Helmet, and Extensions. At that point, I would just do a mix of most efficient XP tasks and Slayer bosses, as I would have basically max gear so I could do them along with the Slayer grind. Basically, any Slayer boss I got assigned, I would kill, and any good Slayer XP tasks I got, I would also do. Fire making could be done at any point for a little bit of cash through Winter Taunt. If I happen to get spooned the Phoenix, I could switch over to Redwood Log Fire Making at level 90, which is significantly faster XP. As Fire Making is by far the most impressive skill in the game to level, I would finish my maximum cape by lighting a log in the Cosmic Entity Plane, as I did originally. Or I would have if I didn't accidentally get 99 while lighting Redwood Logs without thinking. Uh, oops. With the max cape back in my hands, the only thing left to do at this point would be slowly work on reobtaining the Zuck Helmet to be back exactly where my main is currently. Which, luckily, with the KC reduction recently has become much less annoying. Earning more money for even better gear may be necessary at this point for some of the achievements, mainly for better challenge mode and theater of blood gear, but I likely would have earned quite a heap through Slayer bossing and finishing the Max Cape. This would be my path back up the mountain if I had to start over with the knowledge I have currently. With over 10,000 hours on my main currently, I think with the improved information I have and better methods that have come out, I could be back to where my account is currently in closer to the five to 6,000 hour range without even doing extremely sweaty skilling methods. How would you start over if everything on your account got wiped? Would you even continue playing if that happened? If you're catching this as it goes up, I will be live on Twitch. We'll be starting off with some Inferno and then doing some challenge mode chambers raids to help some friends get their combat achievements completed. So come check it out. And that's it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it and or subscribe. Thanks guys. Who thought I was dead? Who thought I was dead? Who in their right mind thought I just died?